In the far south of Japan, amidst the restless waters of the Pacific Ocean, lies the Takara Archipelago, a chain of 12 islands that are part of Kagoshima Prefecture. This region is known not only for its natural beauty, but also for its intense seismic activity as it sits on the Pacific Ring of Fire, an extremely unstable zone where frequent tremors and volcanic eruptions occur. Japan's history is marked by devastating seismic events, and even in isolated areas like Tokara, residents live under constant threat from this invisible force. In recent days, nature has once again shown its strength. Since June 21st, Tokara has experienced a remarkable sequence of earthquakes. Over a thousand tremors have been recorded in a short span of time, characterizing what is known as a seismic swarm. In such events, unlike a major earthquake followed by aftershocks, the tremors occur in series without a dominant epicenter, keeping the population on constant alert. The small island of Akuseki, with just 89 residents, has become the epicenter of this unrest. Most of the recorded tremors have centered around this island, completely disrupting the daily lives of its people. Even though the tremors have been of low magnitude, ranging from 1 to 5.5 on the Richter scale, the sense of insecurity has spread. So far, there have been no reports of loss of life or significant material damage. On Wednesday, July 2nd, the situation escalated. A stronger tremor with a magnitude of 5.5 prompted local authorities to act quickly to protect the community. Residents of Akuseki were evacuated to a schoolyard designated as a safe area. It was a frightening moment, but fortunately, everyone was found to be safe and the evacuation alert was lifted shortly afterward. Japan's meteorological agency remains on high alert. Experts have stated that although there is no immediate risk of a tsunami, attention must be paid to secondary hazards such as landslides, especially during periods of heavy rain. Constant vigilance has become part of daily life for the islanders, who must be ready to act at the first sign of danger. Even in a country well prepared for earthquakes, the frequency and intensity of the tremors in Takara are surprising. This seismic swarm stands out not only for the number of quakes, but also for the extended duration of the activity. As scientists try to understand the cause of this unusual sequence, the islanders live in a state of tension, hope, and resilience, relying on technology, community unity, and ongoing preparedness to face nature's challenges. Despite Japan's long history with earthquakes, what's happening in Tokara has triggered more concern than usual. What might have been just another episode of seismic activity is now being taken more seriously due to the persistence of the tremors. In Akuseki, residents report that minor shakes are felt almost daily, causing mental strain, especially among the elderly and children. Preparedness has become routine. In every home, emergency kits have been updated with non-perishable food, flashlights, batteries, and medicine. Local schools now conduct more frequent drills to teach children and staff how to respond during stronger tremors. Authorities are urging everyone to stay alert to high-risk areas, particularly near slopes where saturated soil could give way at any moment. The limited infrastructure of the islands complicates the situation. Because Takara is remote and made up of small islands, many lack well-equipped hospitals or quick emergency transport. Evacuation must be carefully planned, increasing concerns among residents and officials alike. Schools and community centers have been converted into shelters, ready to accommodate people if stronger quakes occur. In parallel with local mobilization, the Japanese government has intensified its use of technology to monitor seismic activity. New sensors have been installed at strategic points throughout the archipelago, providing real-time data on ground movement. Yet predicting the behavior of a seismic swarm remains a challenge, as these events do not follow the typical pattern of a main earthquake followed by aftershocks. Amidst all this apprehension, community solidarity has made a difference. Residents of Akuseki and neighboring islands are supporting each other by sharing food, helping with evacuations, and providing emotional support. Community meetings are frequently held so that everyone stays informed and feels they're not facing this invisible threat alone. Meanwhile, tourism, one of the region's few sources of income, is beginning to feel the effects. Visitors are canceling reservations out of fear of new tremors, and fishermen are struggling to work safely at sea where the quakes could trigger unexpected waves. The local government is evaluating financial aid measures to ensure that the crisis does not deepen from an economic standpoint. The Japan Meteorological Agency continues to closely monitor the situation in Takara. Although the likelihood of a major earthquake is considered low, it cannot be entirely ruled out. The geological instability of the region demands constant surveillance, 
and each new tremor is being carefully analyzed by scientists searching for patterns or clues of something larger developing beneath the Earth's crust. Among the leading hypotheses are two possibilities. The first is the natural movement of tectonic plates, which is common in this area of the planet. The second is the influence of underground magma activity, which might be triggering the tremors. However, both theories still lack conclusive scientific evidence, and research continues at an accelerated pace to determine what exactly is happening beneath Takara. In the meantime, life on the islands balances between the serenity of their natural surroundings and the tension brought by continuous tremors. The contrast between the region's beauty and the ever-present threat is striking. Even with Japan's preparedness and experience, smaller islands like Akuseki still face challenges in quickly responding to natural disasters. That's why preventive education and infrastructure improvements are increasingly urgent. International media has also turned its attention to Takara. The global spotlight has served both as a warning about the severity of the situation and a way to pressure Japanese authorities to ensure adequate support for the affected communities. This visibility could attract outside scientific and humanitarian assistance, but also demands clear, consistent, and data-driven communication with the population. Despite all the challenges, the Japanese people are once again demonstrating their resilience. Living with the forces of nature has taught them valuable lessons about solidarity, preparedness, and respect for the environment. In Takara, community unity, the work of authorities, and scientific progress form a defense line against a scenario that remains uncertain, but is being faced with courage and determination. If you enjoyed this content and want to keep up with important events like this, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications so you never miss an update. Leave a comment below about what you think of the situation in Takara, and share this video with someone who's interested in natural phenomena and Japanese curiosities. 